This is the final video of the Duke Nukem Again series, although I may do a couple of uh, little tutorials about some of the materials that I've used in Substance Painter. But this is the last real one, and I'm going to show you some renders in a moment. But just as a reminder here, uh, I've got, I guess, five parts. First one where I introduced what I was going to be doing. And uh, I think I showed some reference images I was trying to decide between. And then in the other parts, I did most of the modeling with you for uh, for the scene. Part two, three, four, and then five. And I've done a couple of other things since then, not too much. And I'm going to be talking to you about those things. So let's have a look at my blender. All right, here it is. And so most of it is probably going to look the same as what you saw. Um, you can see, however, that I've done one, uh, one of the signs and I've copied it over here. And this is just uh, 3D letters here. Another, I've got another sign here and I took this part off. I, I decided I didn't really like it. Uh, I've also made a small change to the balcony. I put this in here and in the windows down here I put this. So just to talk about this really quickly, it's very easy to do, although it is relatively high poly. Uh, if I bring my 3D cursor there and I bring in a plane, I'll just quickly show you how you could do something like this. Although really I wouldn't recommend it uh, doing this a lot uh, because of the, the high poly nature. This was not with the, the wireframe modifier. But, all right, let's just say I've got something like that. So what I did here is I tried to get this into squares, something like that. Let's start subdividing that. And I just subdivided it a few times. And in face selection, I pressed uh, Control E, no, it's Control F. Control F, poke faces, and then Control F uh, tries to quads. Press I twice, I, I. I did a slightly different pattern, inset it a little bit and delete those faces. And you could get something like this. And then take that and extrude it back, get rid of the back face, flip them. Shade smooth will make it nice and like that. You can put a bevel modifier. I did a, a couple of slightly different things, but it's easy to achieve that kind of a, of a look. And then down here, what I did, I'll just choose something that I can use to get sort of central. Bring in a plane, rotate X90, scale in the Z. And this won't be exactly the same either, but it will be something similar. Again, I did this in geometry, and you might want to consider uh, doing this in texture. So here what I did, let's see if I can remember, I put a number of vertical uh, edge loops and then you can just drag these you know to do different things. Um, I'll do that make it slightly different and then select uh, I think I did every other one so let's just do those two and those two and then Let's do all of these. We'll get a slightly different pattern. So grab the vertices that you want. Shift Control B to bevel, pull, and that will give me diamonds there. I'm gonna re I'm going to release, and I'll come up here and I'm gonna add a few more segments, and pull this. And now I have circles. You could do that kind of a thing. Uh, although I think I may have done diamonds, so I'm just going to reduce that. All right, so I've got that, and then I'm gonna come over to, let's see, come back here and on the modifier tab, choose wireframe, and you get this. Okay, so you can play around with that, and that can give you an interesting effect. I just did something like that, something similar, maybe a little bit bigger. All right, so that is basically the model itself. And if I come over here and we have a look at the statistics, 129,000 tries, 
is what I've got. I, uh, I did delete as much as I could. There might be a little bit that I haven't deleted. Maybe the back of the door, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, and I also, I added these, these uh, sort of angled rectangles here. I, I felt I needed something in there. I needed some light and I knew I wanted to put a point light and it didn't look right unless I had some other kind of a light. So I'm gonna show you the textures now here. This is with scene lights and scene world turned on. I do have an HDR in the background. And this is what I came up with that I decided I liked the best. And I think one of the most interesting things is the brick texture. This is a texture. Uh, the geometry is just simple planes. And I wanted something different. And I didn't want it to look overly realistic. I wanted it to look sort of like a computer game. And so I believe I will do a video about how I achieved that look uh, in Substance Painter later for you. All right, so we're not going for realism here. And uh, anyhow, you can see, however, my my window, you know, the, the iron parts and my balconies. Uh, I've got the, the windows themselves. I decided to go for that dirty glass look with the old wood. And I've got my air conditioners in here. And what else can we look at? Just in general, I've got the tiled wall that looks, I think, a little bit similar to the original. Uh, you can see the lights in here. I could have done more work. I just did that the rectangular shape and I just put an emission. I did that just in Blender, just so that when I had a point light, it would look like it came from somewhere. Um, my, my road surface looks like this. There's a couple of different textures in here. I may talk about that sometime. You can see the streaks and you may be able to see something else. Maybe in a render, you'll be able to see that and my tiles over here. All right, so that is the scene and now I'll show you a couple of renders. Here's the first render. These are all done in Eevee and uh, with a little bit of post-processing, a little bit of stuff in the compositor, some, um, some lights, some color balancing, some, I guess, glare, and that's really it. And then the rest is post-processing and other software. All right, but you can see in my road here, I, I don't know how well you can see it. There are a couple of different textures in there and just the general look of the thing. And another, another view of this thing. And this one, and you can see the, the window bars uh, in this scene. And again, some of the texture in there. And sort of this interesting uh, brick pattern where we are missing some bricks. And a little bit of color variation as well. Okay, the garage. There's really not that much to show you. Uh, in here uh, because uh, this is all it is this just this corner here and Right now you can see the window bars there my painted door texture and From up top if you were standing up here All right, so those are the those are the main renders because like I say there's not that many angles that I can show you uh, this from all right, so that is uh, the project. And like I say, uh, I will probably do a video just talking about the bricks. I think that is the thing that is the most interesting here. The rest is mostly uh, smart materials or regular materials tweaked to my own liking and using the tile generator to do uh, the walls and the floor. Uh, I've done that plenty of times in, in videos and will continue to do that and uh, perhaps something on this. Um, it doesn't look overly realistic for a street, but I was not going for overly realistic anyhow. All right. So anyways, that's going to be it for the main videos of the series. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, journey, looking back at one of my favorite games, Duke Nukem. Uh, lots more to come from Uncharted, The Last of Us, Fallout. I've had so many uh, different games suggested 
to do some uh, some modeling and some graphics and uh you know i have to just take it with a grain of salt i'm no i'm no professional here i'm just having some fun and uh, i do like to do it so hopefully we'll get something cool in the future so i hope you come on back take care